But now I want to tell you what the real threat to your taqwa is in countries like the one you live in. Like Qatar, like Dubai, like the Khalij, like the, much of the Arab world, much of the Muslim world. The big danger to you and to your children is materialism. That is the big danger. Your children and you are becoming obsessed with the car, with the brand name clothes, with the brand name phone, with the gadgets, with the new movie, with the new song download. This is with you know with the hanging out at the mall, with Facebook, and how many likes you got on your comment. You're getting obsessed with these things. Your entire life only means these things, nothing else. And this is a tragedy. Because the youth of this ummah are so powerful. Wallahi, they are so powerful. When the young people of this ummah internalize the Qur'an, they can change the world. Really. The world will be a beautiful place if this, the young people of this ummah wake up. But the young people of this ummah are being put to sleep by the iPhone 5, by the Samsung Galaxy Touch, by the iPad, by Facebook. And those things can be used for a lot of good. They can be used for a lot of good, but man, those things are poison too, man. They're poison too. The sword is good if you point it at the enemy, but it's pretty bad if you point it at yourself. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what it is. These tools, they, they are a force of good. They can be. I am on Facebook. You know how much? Never. My pictures on Facebook, some things I say are on Facebook, I am actually almost never on Facebook. Never. I'll tweet things once in a while. I'll send a tweet message. I never check what responses there are. People say, brother, you never respond to your, respond to your Twitter. I say, I'm leaving a sunnah. Don't worry about it. Say something good that will benefit somebody else. Right? And then don't worry about it. Don't get caught up in online conversations. We have more important conversations. How do you have time for all those conversations, man? How do you have time to read all the comments under a YouTube video? Where did you find the time? Where did you find the time? I, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. So you have to, you and I have to detox. We have to get rid of the gadgets, especially in Ramadan, guys. Get rid of the gadgets. Delete the video games on your, delete the game apps off your phone. Delete them. For Ramadan, you say, yeah, at least I can re-download them later. I don't care. But at least in Ramadan. Every, sisters too. I'm, sister, get off of Facebook right now. I see you. I don't see you, but you just got off of Facebook. And the joke is on you. But anyway, you know, get off of your devices. You have to do this. Materialism is killing us. And I tell you the real anecdote, the real solution to materialism is understanding the Book of Allah. Personally. Personally understanding the Book of Allah. The more you start understanding the Book of Allah for yourself, you will no longer be interested in materialism. It will not fulfill you. It will leave you empty. This will start giving you joy that you never felt before. You get to talk to Allah, man. You get to talk to Allah when you, talk, when you recite Quran. What more can you ask for? So this is the, this, some practical, or some advice I want to give you, or the warning I want to give uh, you guys in particular. And of course materialism is hitting everywhere, but I noticed like the malls and like the, you know, the, the glitz and everybody's like, the youth are like flocking towards these things. I don't get angry at them. I just feel like we haven't given them Qur'an. We haven't given them something to be excited about. It's our fault, you know. 